Alright, we're back. And what I'm about to, what we are about to do, Chef is coming. What we are about to do is we are going to debone a turkey. And we're going to be reserving the bones for stock for other things along with this meal. Tell them why the um, plastic wrap is down. Okay, we have put plastic wrap down on the counters so that we don't get um, the juices, the raw juices from the turkey. Um, all over the counter and contaminate the counters. Um, so when we get done deboning the turkey, we can just pull the plastic wrap up and of course we will wipe down and sanitize again, but this just makes it easier to prevent cross contamination um, for anything else that we're going to cook along the way. So we put the plastic wrap down and then we put our cutting board down uh, for the deboning process. Let me grab my knife. I'm going to start the process and then Chef Tim, Chef St. Clair is going to come in um, and start the process of deboning. And again, we will use the bones for stock for anything that we may use during this Thanksgiving meal and later recipes. So we're gonna cut the casing that's around the outside of the turkey off first. I'm gonna take it and throw it away. And as you can see, it's already like liquid going everywhere. And then we wanna carefully cut it in the arm. Cut it in. Yeah. So we're gonna we have a Lexan and we're going to um, place the turkey inside of here so when I open it and so the juices don't go everywhere because it's clearly already leaking. So now you can see why the plastic was a must um, in order to prevent uh, large amounts of contamination across our cooking surfaces. You hear in the background, you hear Chef sharpening his knives so that the deboning process is easy. It is harder to debone any sort of protein if the knives are not sharp. Okay, so I'm just taking the turkey out of its butterball package and I am putting it inside of the Lexan in order to catch the juices and then once the deboning process once chef takes the turkey out of here and begins to debone I will wash and sanitize the Lexan so that we can have this container to brine and or marinate our turkey as you can see there's a couple of uh, feathers here I'm just gonna pull them off to make his process easier and then we can get started. Okay, Chef, you ready? <laughs> One second, and we will wipe up the excess juices. Gonna need more paper towels, Chef. wiped up, up the excess juices that have come off the turkey from just sitting it on the cutting board and now chef will take it out of the lexan and begin the deboning process chef yeah so i showed you all a video of a chef doing a chicken in like two minutes this is not going to be a two minute process because of its sheer size. Take this 
So what I am going to do is get some more paper towels. I'm just going to pat this dry. Now, there are some people out there that say, Chef, you got to rinse off your turkey. Um, you got to rinse it off. But I will tell you what the FDA says is that you do not have to rinse off poultry before preparation. That what you are actually doing is spreading salmonella everywhere. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you do in your house is right or wrong. But I'm just telling you what the FDA has said about washing or rinsing off poultry um, that it's fair it's fairly good enough to where you don't have to to wash it so to speak now if it's a little wet you can pat it dry like I'm doing but again if you want to rinse off turkey in your house or chicken in your house that's your house do what you're gonna do so I'll be working with a boning knife today all right um, there are little treasures within a turkey that we are also which I'm also going to use for uh, dressing uh, I like meat in my dressing so uh, there are some nice nice treasures within this turkey that I like to put in dressing. I also like to use the net turkey necks for um, I may either smoke them and use them for the broth as well or I'll just make a broth and uh, out of the turkey necks and I'll use that for you know, making dressing and all, whatever else I want to use in the meal. Um, I'll definitely use the uh, the broth that I make from here for gravy. Oh, they didn't, there's no giblets in here. Were there any giblets in the back, Chef? No. Wait, wait, here they are. Ah, the giblets. So these are giblets or offal is these are giblets, uh, liver and heart. Um, the classification for this meat is called offal. O F A L offal. Not awful, but offal. Okay, but um, I like to use those for my dressing, so I just put these in a bowl with a lid. I'll cover it and place it into the refrigerator um, to be used tomorrow because this turkey has to marinate for at least 12 hours or overnight. Let's just say overnight. Now some people do not um, will just you know rub their oil, butter, seasoning on it and whatnot and it's fine and be good, but you know, it's fine. Alright, now one way to do this is to go down the breast and just peel off. But um, I'm going to be smoking these turkeys as well. I'm sorry, this turkey. And what I want is more skin for my turkey. So I'm going to go through the back and debone it that way. Okay. Um, this is a, a nice way to debone your turkey through the back. You get much more skin. Um, Making a long story short, if you are going to make what's called a roulade, 
with um, poultry, you would go through the back so you would have more skin. But I just like having more skin, period. And uh, what I'll actually do is uh, I'll cut these in half. So I'm going to end up with smoking a half turkey boneless, okay? So. What I'm going to do first is dislodge the... He's going to dislocate the hips of the turkey to make it easier to fabricate. Um, Got to loosen this turkey up. If the turkey or whatever you're fabricating is giving you trouble, um, once you gain experience, you can kind of feel your way through when you're doing the fabrication, whether you're doing it from the front or the back. Um, because it's still frozen a little bit, um, it's a little harder to dislocate the hips of the turkey. Um, so, Chef may end up having to, you know, feel his way through on the fabrication, which is fine. Um, because we have the experience to do that. So um, he's starting the process of filling his way through and through the process, you know, you get a little bit of ice coming out of the turkey bill because of course they are um, frozen when you buy them for preservation purposes. So um, the turkey will thaw, thaw out 